In this video, we will see the internal structure of dicot root. In a dicot root, we will see the outermost layer namely epidermis. This epidermis is parenchymatous in nature and from this epidermal cell, unicellular root hair arises. So you can make one or two unicellular root hair. They are barrel shaped cells and they are single layered structures. They are single layered structures. Below this we will see the cortex region. Below this we see the cortex region. This cortex is parenchymatous in nature. We all know that parenchyma is either circular in nature or oval in shape or polygonal in shape. So fully you can make cortex region. Next to the cortex region you will see the endodermis region. We will see the endodermal region. It is a single layered structure. And this endodermis is also made up of parenchymatous cell. It is also made up of parenchymatous cells and they are also barrel shaped. This endodermis, it is present inside. So endodermis, derma means skin. Epidermis is present outside. Morphologically, these cells are similar. Both are barrel shaped. But this endodermis, they store starch. So, we can also call it as starch sheet. This endodermis, we can call it as starch sheet. Since it stores starch. Other than that, it has got thick wall. So, they have got Casparian thickenings. Because of that only, they have got thick wall. But the endodermal cells that are opposite to the xylem are thin walled because they have to conduct water. In order to this, you will see a layer called pericycle. A layer called pericycle. It is also made up of barrel shaped cell only. This is pericycle. From this pericycle, lateral root arises. We all know in a root, in a true root, primary root present. From the primary root only, secondary root arises or lateral root arises. This lateral root arises from the pericycle. Other than that, this pericycle give rise to cambium at the time of secondary growth. Now we will say the xylem. Xylem cells are hexagonal or polygonal in shape. So we will make hexagonal cells. They are xylem. In four direction we will make four xylem. The bigger xylem that we are drawing we will be calling it as meta xylem and the smaller one that we make will be proto xylem. Here you see this proto xylem is facing the periphery. So the type of xylem is exarch in nature. The type of xylem is exarch in nature. See this is metaxylem, this is protoxylem. And in between the xylem you can see the pith region. You can see the pith region. This region is called as pith. That is also parenchymatous in nature. The pith region is also parenchymatous in nature. This xylem has thick walls so we make double layer. We will make double layer of xylem. This is metaxylem and this is protoxylem. Smaller one is protoxylem. Protoxylem and metaxylem. And they are less in number. Whereas in monocot root they are more in number. In between the xylem we see the phloem cells. Here we can make the phloem. Here phloem cells are present. That means this xylem alternate with phloem and that type of arrangement is called as radial arrangement. Here also you see the phloem cells. We make it as polygonal cells. 
we make it in the form of polygonal cell or you can make rectangle also rectangle is also a polygon so we will make cambial cell in some cases they are sclera and chymatous in nature because they are involved in secondary growth sometimes this phloem is also involved in secondary growth but here in this case in cam this phloem cells we are making it this phloem cells are polygonal in shape phloem cells are polygonal maybe you can make hexagon or pentagon or rectangle anything you can make the rest of the cells the cells that are present between the xylem and phloem are made up of parenchymatous cells so we will make hexagon here everywhere you can make the hexagon everywhere the cells you can make it as little big so that the diagram making the diagram will be little easier for you right so here also we will be filling it with parenchyma cells that is polygonal cell or even you can fill it with oval shaped cells but it is denoting parenchyma cell it is denoting parenchyma cell everywhere you make parenchyma cells the cells that are present between the xylem and phloem we call it as medullary rays you can use the term medullary rays also see they are all parenchymatous they are made up they are conjunctiva also you can say in the mature root the pith may be absent in some cases pith may be absent it is obliterated or vanished that is what we will say this is the internal structure of dicot root and then labeling you have to do like this labeling if you have to do means this is unicellular root hair so we will say this is unicellular root hair and then this is epidermis this is epidermis and then you have to label cortex this is cortex region then this is your endodermis endodermis and then you are seeing the next layer that is pericycle pericycle cycle spelling and then you will see the phloem phloem then you see the this is the proto xylem proto xylem and then you will see the um, this is also proto xylem only but we have to mark uh, meta xylem isn't it so we will mark this as meta xylem this is meta xylem and then here this is this area this is parenchymatous tissue it is conjunctiva tissue conjunctiva tissue and in the center there is pith so that also you can mark in the center you can see the pith in the next video we will see the internal structure of monocot root thank you children